And what bothers me the most out of all of this is that Major League Baseball is sitting on their hands and still closed-minded to doing anything like this. They're really bad when it comes to this. They need a hard knocks for spring training. Yes. So we can root for guys to make the club. So we can see these guys who will make the club, who are the highly touted rookies. How much would you have loved to have watched a show that was hard knocks-esque following the Cincinnati Reds so you can see the most electrifying player in the game today, Ellie De La Cruz. That smile, that million dollar smile, his speed, his aggressiveness. That's the kind of guy that baseball should be promoting the hell out of. And how do you do that? By letting the kids see what he's like off the field. You don't know what any of these players are like off the field. Unless no. you're in a position like you, that you've played in Major League Baseball, or like me, that has worked in the, uh, in the media. You don't know what these guys are like. So you, you talk about the Reds. Ellie Dale Cruz is amazing. That, that'd be a lot of fun. Now, that's that's a that's one of the most exciting players in all of baseball. He, what he does on the field is in, insane. But I would actually, I, I would give you that and, and raise you two others that I think would have been incredible. And it's just, it's such an easy grab is the Baltimore Orioles and the Pirates. Pittsburgh Pirates, Baltimore Orioles. Those two, this spring training would have been absolutely incredible to watch insane hard knocks goes out and films uh they do a lot of pre-stuff and then they film and they're ready like one week later right so you're seeing it in re almost in real time you mentioned it daniel jones daniel jones in the in, you know during the offseason when they're talking about do they move a quarterback saying Quan, there's a lot of conversations behind closed doors that um it's tough for a player to hear at the same time Somehow, some way, the NFL, NFL, PA, whatever, if they have zero power in this, maybe that's one thing. But they've gotten over it and they don't care and they love it because it grows their brand. Baseball just has to get over it and, and, and stop thinking uh, old school mindset and, and start going this new school, have fun mindset or be open minded with this. Because if I'm watching the Baltimore Orioles spring training and I'm getting to know Jackson Holiday, I'm getting to go know Mayo, I'm getting to know... Um, Curious that I'm, I'm gonna know the whole all of those rookies, and then you're seeing how the veterans are handling knowing you're you're looking down and you're a second baseman and you're seeing the future of major league baseball st sitting there in triple A or sitting there in spring training and getting all the press. And you, it's your position right now, or you're right fielder and you're, you're seeing this, or you're the pirate and you're the a starter and pitcher, and you're looking at Paul Skeens and going, uh oh, you know, like I want to hear those interviews, I want to feel what it feels like to have to be in those shoes and then i want to see what it's like for paul skeens to have to respect veterans while trying to find his own way and to see and to make his way and then not make the team and then come up weeks later and see how he is at home with livy dunn maybe we just should do an episode on livy dunn but <laughs> i was waiting for you to mention her because you were so full of shit the only reason you want to see the pirates on hard knocks was to see more livy dunn go ahead deny it all you want but i know the truth <laughs> yes but i want to see falter i want to see jones i want to see i, I want to see skeins i want to see them all react i want to see how they're handling this together the pressure of coming up and being the superstar the next generation the you know like this big three-headed monster of rookies and, and all this stuff i want to see that stuff and and obviously throw the sprinkle a little livy done in there that could never hurt but but the reality is major league baseball is stuck behind this um this idea that we can't let people in and we can never open those doors. And what happens is when other leagues are opening those doors, like the NBA, you pretty much know everything the NBA is thinking. The NFL, now you're starting to get to see that behind the scenes stuff. Um, hockey, okay, well, hockey's hockey. But baseball, we're still in this such a closed minded thing that we don't know what these GMs ever feel. We don't know if they have feelings. And that's the thing is we sit, we can sit behind keyboards and talk crap all we want or, or praise them all we want. But like, just give them some insight, man. Give us a little thing. And I, I'm just waiting for a team to just step up and do it themselves and just say, you know what? We're going to handle this. We got this. I know the Giants did a thing, um, you know, whatever. It was a couple of years ago. It wasn't really well I don't know if it wasn't well done or just they didn't promote it well enough and it just didn't take off. The, we got to say this and, and we'll, we'll own this. The Red Sox are doing something this year where they're filming their whole season, which is really cool, which I love it. But that's a documentary. That to me is a documentary. Like film it through the year 
show me it the next week. Show me last week. Like, I want to see the Red Sox playing the Yankees, you know, like, they're, they're playing the Yankees. I want to see that in four days. I want to see how that was handled. Show me that. Now we're talking. Now I'm grabbing something. Now I want to, I want to, Ben Rice. Who is Ben Rice? Who, what has he done? Yeah, I'm cool. I'm sure, um, you know, um, New York channels are, are all over. I'm sure the Yankees network is doing little segment things. No one else sees it. They're, they're, they're tiny little group of people get to see that. who are actually watching that and, and whatever that tiny segment of the, of the market is. Put on the national stage. Let me, MLB network, throw it on HBO, throw it on something and create this different, like a people paying attention and, and getting to know these players like show me aaron judge man give me some personality aaron but you know you said it major league baseball is so fucking close-minded they're going to let you they're gonna follow around the red Sox, and then guess what's gonna happen they're gonna produce it then they're gonna send it back to the red Sox. the red Sox are gonna say you got to take this out you got to take this out and you got to take this out okay then it goes back to the production people then major league baseball looks at it oh we can't discuss that on it boom 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 take this out take this out so now all of a sudden it's dry like toast and nobody's gonna give a shit yeah no one will, will care no one will, will care at all like like it's so late like right now okay this 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 just happened right uh, what was it jared duran jared duran yeah. yelled at a fan and used the f word at him not 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 the uh, f u word <laughs> the much worse one he used the gay slur gay slur right at, at a fan he said it under his breath he meant it like a big giant finger at him when he but it came out as the probably you know one of the worst things you could say and then rightfully so he's kind of getting owned a little bit and he needs to own that Right. He, he used it like they mindset. use it on South Park with the bikers. Yeah, so that I want to see in a week how they handle that. I want to see on an episode in, in five days. Because in four months, five months, I'm not going to really care. In all honesty, I'm not going to give a rat's ass. I'm just no. And, and no one else will either. He literally, like, the day, the next day, or whatever, day before that won the Heart and Hustle Award. Right, right. There's a lot going on there. <laughs> and then he and he uses that. So like, let's see that. And, and Major League Baseball, get your head out of your ass and let's go. Yeah, I, I don't know why Manfred is so afraid to do stuff that's going to appeal to the fans. There is no reason why they don't have walk up music and fireworks like uh, <laughs> like the La Flama Blanca team yeah, had. Yeah, he's down. You know, there's no reason they don't do that. Why? Because you're afraid the pitcher's going to throw at the hitter if he hot dogs a little? Guess what? It's going to bring kids to the ballpark. You're great. Okay, that's a crazy idea. But either way, I know you and I know I want to see these players on TV. We want to see them in a hard knocks, MOB hard knocks. Give me behind closed doors. Let me know who's the 24th, 25th, 26th man on the roster. What what do those cuts look like? Let me see those guys in, in spring training, the minor leaguers having to step up and, and do stuff and, and have some fun with it. 